Once you're familiar with the ritual itself and it's recommended to do at least a month of daily practice uh, to become acquainted and fully conversant with it, then you might want to add in, um, a, well, pay attention to your breathing. And the fourfold breath is the one that is recommended. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, that is in, hold, out, hold, each to a count of four. If this is difficult, you can do in, hold for two, out, hold for two. And use this in the ritual itself, particularly when you're circulating the light which is this, um, this part of the ritual here. So you would, on the in-breath, you're bringing the energy or the light up, and on the out-breath, you're coming down. So that's the first um, little tweak. <laughs> the next, the next exercise, is to introduce colour and it does depend rather on what sources you are using as to what colours you're using but Israel Regardi has somewhere I'm not sure whether it was in the middle pillar book itself or um, was in another of his works but these are the colours he suggests um, putting into the spheres once you are proficient. So we have lavender, red, blue and russet or an earthy colour for Malkuth. Finally we'll go through the fountain of light exercise. So you would perform the middle pillar first so this is an exercise you might want to um, just tag on to the end of your middle pillar ritual. Then you would focus on bringing up this light up to Ketha, from Malkuth to Ketha, on your in-breath. Then holding at Ketha for either two or four, whichever system you're using. And then imagine that light bursting from Ketha and surrounding you with that wonderful, divine, bright, sparkly light. So filling your aura all around. And then imagine it all being absorbed back into Malkus here. Perform that seven times and that's the fountain of light exercise. This is an energizing and cleansing exercise and performed regularly, which is the idea of course. It will assist you with maintaining health and well-being.